Hello, my name is Anna Zushnit and I'm a clinical pharmacist at the Perlman Center for Advanced Medicine. I'm going to be introducing you to another class of medications today for the management of osteoporosis, intravenous or IV bisphosphonates. Ibandronate and Zoledronic Acid are the two intravenous drug options in this class. Their brand names are Boniva and Reclast. The cells in the body known as osteoclasts the ones that promote bone breakdown, end up absorbing the bisphosphonate medications. The bisphosphonates then hang around in the osteoclasts and reduce their activity to slow down and to help prevent bone loss. Another way to describe these drugs is to say that they are anti-resorptive in nature. Ibandronate is not regularly used anymore because it does not have as robust data on reducing the risk of fractures, so I'm going to focus on the other drug in the class, Zoledronic Acid, since this is the IV medication currently recommended in osteoporosis treatment guidelines. Zoledronic Acid is usually administered annually. It is also typically administered over at least 30 minutes. However, the total time spent at the infusion center appointment is usually longer than this. Most people on zoledronic acid tend to receive anywhere from two to five infusions over the course of their treatment. Afterwards, there is a period of time during which monitoring may occur by the treating physician prior to starting a different drug for osteoporosis. This monitoring period is sometimes referred to as a drug holiday. Before each infusion, calcium, vitamin D, and kidney numbers will be checked via lab work. It is important to know that zoledronic acid may cause dehydration. On the day of the infusion, one should stick to their usual diet and keep themselves adequately hydrated. A person receiving zoledronic acid may experience flu-like symptoms shortly following the infusion. There are steps that can be taken to alleviate these symptoms if they do happen. Lastly, the prescribing provider should be contacted if any unusual jaw or hip pain occurs while on bisphosphonates, as these may be signs that rare but serious adverse effects are occurring. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this brief video on IV bisphosphonates.